After seven years, he's finally back and makes his big screen return. Yes, we're talking about Dexter Morgan and the ninth season of the series. In the recent years, rumors and whispers were thrown around about yet another installment of the franchise, and it's finally here. And we're going to talk about everything we know so far and take a first look into it. Enjoy! Season 9 Renewal To start off, all the rumors you've heard already are all so true. Season 9 is coming and the show has been renewed. And the productions have also confirmed that Dexter Season 8 will not be the final season of the series. There are not many details before us about the next season coming, but as we go through the topics, we'll share everything we manage to find and get you that much closer to what to expect from the ninth season of the show. Season 8 Recap and Continuation Before we move forward with the ninth season, let's take a look back at the last season, what exactly happened, and how will the series continue from that point. After all, it has been seven years before the last outing of the series, so a little reminder won't hurt anybody, right? In the eighth season, Hannah and Dexter were required to divert to another airport when Dexter receives a call that Oliver Saxon shot Deborah, and he immediately hurries to the hospital. After a short distraction, Saxon is imprisoned by Angela Batista. After a stroke hits Deborah due to a blood clot, she has comatose, and only a miracle is needed for her to endure all this. In the meantime, Hannah and Harrison do make it to another airport when Elway reaches up to her and tells her that he's going to utilize her. Saxon is enclosed and Dexter enters his cell to achieve a GSR test on him, taking out a pen in the process and telling him that he's going to kill him with it. Then Saxon quickly takes the pen and lunges forward, and Dexter's reflexes are the only thing that help him in this situation, managing to dodge to the side and only getting penetrated in the left shoulder. And for the last scene of the show, Dexter draws out the pen and stabs Saxon's left carotid artery, which makes him fall on the floor and suffer to death the only way deserving of his death. No, I'm here to kill you with that pen. Dexter then pushes the button, which eventually invents a distress, and uses the camera to satisfy both Angel and Quinn that all of this was self-defense. It's obviously self-defense. With Hurricane Laura closing on Miami, Dexter relieves Deborah in her vegetative phase after telling her that he adores her and uses the chaos surrounding him to take Deborah's body to his boat. When he leaves Miami, he calls Hannah and Harrison and throws the phone in the water. In the final moments of the season, he lets Deborah go into the sea and knowing that he has to protect the ones he cares about, goes straight towards Hurricane Laura. A shot is shown at a lumber mill throughout the final scene, which shows a man entering his cabin, taking off the cold weather vest and sitting down at a wooden table, showing the face of the Bay Harbor butcher who meets his eyes for a consequence and then opens them, Dexter accurately staring into the camera. Season 9 Release Date As we mentioned before, a new season of the Dexter series has been in the works for a while, and the limited run of the run is set to go into production this year, if it hasn't already started, since it has been announced that the start of 2021 will be the time when the filming will begin. Gary Levine, the co-president of Entertainment, also said that the series will continue only if they manage to find a creative way for the character and his future, and by the looks of things, they definitely did or at least something worth revisiting the series itself. Levine also showed his happiness when he reported that Clyde Phillips and Michael C. Hall have found just the right thing in order for the originality of the series. With this in mind, and the return of Phillips after being showrunner, executive producer, and writer for the first four seasons, and serving as a consultant for the fifth is a very big deal. However, he's not the only one who's coming back to the show, but more on that a little bit later. As for the actual release date of the series, there isn't much known. If the COVID-19 pandemic didn't interfere with the filming, we should be already underway. Resources say that the show might air even this autumn. Thus, be on the lookout for any news regarding the date for the series in the near future. Together with the fact that there's still no official trailer released so far. These might come out of nowhere at the same time. Season 9 Cast with a seven years period between the eighth and ninth season, all of the main characters have moved on to other projects. For instance, Michael C. Hall had a brief role on The Crown and starred alongside Adam Driver in the 2019 film The Report. However, crucially, he'll reprise his role as Dexter Morgan. The series would not be what it is today without him, right? Veteran Clancy Brown will be the brand new villain in the upcoming season, and Kurt Caldwell was described as an unofficial mayor of a small town of Iron Lake. Julian Jones will also be joining the cast as Angela Bishop, 
the first Native American chief of police in the upstate New York, and Johnny Sequoia will be her rebellious daughter Audrey. Alan Miller has been cast as an Iron Lake sergeant and Jack Alcott as the mysterious Randall, who will have a meaningful encounter with Dexter himself. The good-natured cop Teddy will be played by David Magadoff, Fred Jr., a shop owner, well-known face will be played by Michael Cyril Creighton, and the most recent additions to the cast are Jamie Chung, cast as Molly, a famous true crime podcaster, and Oscar Wahlberg being cast as Zack, the captain of the Iron Lake High School wrestling team who has a bad reputation of being a bully. Season 9 Plot No major details have been released about the actual plot of the ninth season, but Phillips was not shy of giving us a little insight into it by saying that the season will feature Dexter's return from the wilderness, or whatever he's been in the years past ever since the finale of the eighth season in 2013. When Dexter was last seen, he faked his suicide and left Miami behind, heading to the forest of Oregon to become a lumberjack maybe. A little off the road from his world of his police job as a blood spatter analyst, don't you think? Details of the plot are under wraps, but the cast said that at least parts of the season will be set in Iron Lake, a small town in upstate New York, hinting at the possibility of Dexter crawling out of the woodwork to face a new major villain who, as we previously mentioned, will be played by Clancy Brown. Many fans were let down by the ending and Phillips who left the show after season 4 with him saying that he would have ended the series with Dexter's execution being watched by all his previous victims, so maybe this is what lies ahead for Dexter in the end of the revival of the season. However, we'll have to wait if this will be the case. Phillips also said that the ninth season will reflect the time passage between the last two seasons, which could evidently make it right with all the Dexter fans. It would be suiting for all of us who walked out on the series after the eighth season, right? On a related note, tell us down in the comments what was your thought on the series and how it ended way back in 2013. And what do you expect from the next season of the show after all this time passed in between? And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.